Brett, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate what you and Red and everyone here at Seattle Tech Meetup and at the Hub does for our community. So if you're, if you're not familiar with Moz, I will give you the five second version. We make software for marketers. Uh, we started right here in Seattle. I, I dropped out of college um, to start this company actually with my mom. And um, over the last you know, few years, we've had some famous failed fundraising attempts. You can read about those on the blog if you search for dude who sucks at raising venture capital. Uh, I'm really good at SEO, really bad at raising money. Um, proud of that. So uh, I, uh, and for those of you who may not know us, we used to be called SEO Moz which is also our company. I did not want to talk to you today because I despise sales. I just can't do it. So I, I'm sorry I couldn't do a product demo. It's just not in my soul uh, to do a product demo. However, uh, if you would like, you can go to moz.com and I'm sure that there is some eventual way to figure out that we sell something. But we don't have any salespeople and we, we don't like selling. I also wanted to be really empathetic because I recognize that this is not the kind of environment where you want to be taking notes or writing down the URLs I'm sharing. And so you can just go to bit.ly slash STM Rand 5. There you go. My first contrarian bit of startup advice is not going to be well received because I know everyone in this room has done it and believes in it like religion. But MVPs kind of suck. A minimum viable product? Like, oh my god, wait. I am going to build you the shittiest thing that can possibly launch. Yeah, that's... Okay, so this is, this is my philosophy about MVPs, right? Basically, I've made this very scientific chart using Pew Internet and American Life Project research... No, I'm kidding. Right, so like over there, if you launch at a pathetic phase, it is harmful. It makes people who see your brand and your company and you go, really, that's your product. And you're like, no, it's an MVP. Oh, okay, I'm sure that it is. If you launch a truly exceptional viable product, it's gonna be remarkable. Did you guys see what Matt was showing us with Porch? Like, it was quite remarkable. That was not minimal. Did you see what, uh, what we were looking at with Flowboard? Flowboard is not Minimal, and I think that's why those products are going to be successful. Okay, ideas suck, they don't matter, execution is everything, right? No, I don't think so. I think ideas matter a tremendous amount. Here's why. The first time, at least the first time I built a startup, I'm sure you're all going to do way better than I did, but the first time I built a startup, which is Moz, this is the only job I've ever had, I sucked at it. I made tons of mistakes again and again and again. It was an insanely frustrating, infuriating, just emotionally devastating process. And you know what the only savior really was? We picked a market that was big at a time when it was growing and we had a good idea and those things let us do lots of dumb stuff that we couldn't have done if we had picked a hyper-competitive field that wasn't all that big with not that much of a market to capture. Oh my God, I, it's not, look, I, I like rock stars as much as the next person and we, we have hired plenty of them over the years. We have some, in fact, I think we have some remarkable engineering talent, product talent, marketing talent, help team talent. We have three phenomenal recruiters here. But the problem with the way that we've described this in the startup world, the, the world of rock star, is that we have this idea that we're gonna hire only 10x people. I only wanna talk to 10x engineers, people who are 10 times more valuable than the average person. I'm gonna call complete bullshit on that entire idea. It does not exist. Does not exist. I, I swear to you, believe me when I tell you that I've worked with some of the smartest marketers on the planet. Right? People like Avinash Kaushik at Google, people like Will Reynolds at Sierra Interactive, incredibly smart, powerful marketers, and there is no way they're getting 10 times as much done as an average person. Uh, there's something to this mythology, but it is not 10x. And so I really, I, I really encourage and, and you know, would ask you all to consider your hiring criteria around this. I know this is something we're very passionate about at Moz. We want, it's not that we want you know, terrible people, 
But we believe that a lot more people than one in a million are qualified to work with us. We certainly don't think of ourselves as being 10x. Number four, you gotta find flywheel marketing channels as fast as you can. As a startup, it, it, you're gonna be in a desperate situation to get marketing going, and if you don't have a channel that builds a flywheel, essentially builds upon itself, gets easier and easier, right? Think about SEO. I, uh, I, I target some keywords, I try to rank for them, it's very challenging, but then as my domain gets more authoritative and I build more links and I get more social shares, it gets easier and easier and easier to earn rankings, to develop content that performs well. It's a flywheel. It's not pay to play, it's not the amount of effort I put in last month is the same amount I need this month. Your startup needs that. And number five, if we make management the only way to grow in a company, we are all fucked. <laughs> is, I, I, I can't tell you how challenging it has been to have this idea that on a team, as a company, right, that, that in the corporate world, that, oh, I can only move up, I can only gain influence by having more people report to me. It's a terrible way to think. It's a terrible way to live your company. Make these two tracks. Wherever you work, whatever startup you build, please have a track for individual contributors and make these commensurate with each other. If you're an architect at Moz, you are making the same, you are having similar influence levels as a director level. If you're a, a fellow, in fact, we're, we're moving a guy up from fellow to distinguished fellow, and he, he makes more than I do. So, and I'm overpaid. I was like the one person who's overpaid. <laughs> Clearly very overpaid. If you like this presentation, you can get it online. And of course, I would love if you would chat with us uh, about coming and working on our team. We're hiring across all sorts of departments, marketing, product, engineering, uh, several senior hires on the VP of people level. Uh, Sierra and Emmy and Susan are here because I have to go home and eat what is now unfortunately a cold chicken pot pie that my wife made <laughs> from scratch. <laughs> Thank you all so much for having me, Brett and red, you guys rock.